Free response calculus derivative problem causes conniption fit. Last week I gave a test in my AB calculus class. The results were typical for most classes. They did very well in some areas but poorly in others. But when they saw this problem, there was loud moaning and complaining. I think that anyone just listening would have concluded that I was inflicting bodily torture on my students. I don't think that this problem is especially difficult. It seems that the thing causing great consternation is this constant K. However, in this class we've seen and used the constant k before to first, find the value of k to make a piecewise function continuous, and even more relevant, we have also found the value of k or another constant needed to make a function differentiable. So they've actually differentiated functions with the constant k included. Part A, find dy dx in terms of k and x. This means that we need to find the derivative or differentiate y equals kx plus 8 over k plus x. This expression kx plus 8 over k plus x is a quotient of two functions. The key expressions we need to identify to use the quotient rule are hi equals kx plus 8 and d hi or the derivative of pi is k. The denominator expression which is k plus x is the low and d low or the derivative of the low is 1. So dy dx is the low times the derivative of the high minus the high times the derivative of the low over low squared. That's just the quotient rule for differentiating. So putting in the pieces, we have dy dx equals quantity k plus x times k minus quantity kx plus 8 times 1 over quantity k plus x squared. And distributing the k and the 1 to the terms inside parentheses, we have k squared plus kx minus kx minus 8 over quantity k plus x squared. Next, kx minus kx cancel each other to equal 0 in the numerator. And we're left with dy dx equals k squared minus 8 over quantity k plus x squared, which we box in as our correct answer to part a. Now on to part B. At what value or values for K does the curve have a horizontal tangent? How can we find a horizontal tangent line? We find the horizontal tangent where the slope of the function is zero. And this point can be found where the derivative of the function is equal zero. So here it is. We have dy dx equals zero equals K squared minus eight. We just have to set the numerator K squared minus eight uh, of the derivative equal to zero. We add eight to both sides of the equation and get k squared equals eight. So k equals plus or minus the square root of eight, which we box in as our correct answer. You might be tempted to put this in the simplified radical form of plus or minus two times the square root of two, but we don't need to simplify our free response answers. And just to see what happens graphically, I graph the original curve replacing the constant k with the square root of 8. And this is what we get, a horizontal line, the, the blue line showing the correctness of the answer. For this value of k, there is not only a horizontal tangent line, but the function itself is a horizontal line, so its slope is 0. And next I'm graphing the same function but using the negative square root of 8 for the constant k. And we also have a horizontal line, this time the red line below the x-axis. Now, on to part C. If the equation of the line tangent to the curve at x equals negative 2 is y equals x plus 4, what is the value of k? What do we know about the equation of the tangent line? Since the equation of the tangent line is y equals x plus 4, we know that the slope of that tangent line is 1. So we can take dy dx found in part a and set that dy dx equal to 1. So we have 1 equals k squared minus 8 over quantity k plus x squared. And now cross multiplying the quantity k plus x squared, we have quantity k plus x squared equals k squared minus 8. Now substituting negative 2 for x, we have quantity k minus 2 squared equals k squared minus 8. And expanding, we have k squared minus 4 k plus 4 equals k squared minus 8. We subtract k squared from both sides of the equation. Next we subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. 4 minus 4 cancel on the left side to equal 0. So we bring down what's left. Negative 4k equals negative 12. 
and dividing both sides of the equation by negative 4 we have k equals 3 which we box in as our correct answer. And back to the calculator. Here is the original function graphed using 3 for k. And here's the function y equals x plus 4 graphed on the same coordinate plane. I hope you can see that the functions touch or intersect at x equals negative 2, verifying the working out of part c of the problem. The function y equals x plus 4 is a tangent to the original function where the value of k is 3. This has been Free Response Calculus Derivative Problem Causes Conniption Fit. Thanks for viewing. Viewing.